hey guys welcome back again to my channel good to see you once again i want to appreciate all your congratulatory messages which you showered on me and without waste of our time let's dive into what we have to, for today and we are going to consider how to cut and sew this design of kimono or danchiki wear and it's going to be a step-by-step -step method let us now dive in to work <music> The first thing we need to consider is the measurement of this danchiki. The length is that one inches. So, but before we talk about the length, you need to fold your your fabric into two. Why the wrong side of the fabric will be upward? That's where you will be given the mark of chalk to draft it out. Why the the uh, uh, the foreign mass or the foreign edge will be facing you on this other side so uh, we, i'm going to trim this i'm going to trim the upper side i'm going to trim it but before then let me give a straight line mark a straight line so that i will follow the straight line to trim the upper side out um, i will be trimming it out So this is what I have. The next thing I will be doing is to mark the the length of the danchiki. But before then, let me just carry us through the measurement of this danchiki. The length is at one inches. The half shoulder we make it 12.5 inches or 13 inches. Let's say 13 inches, not 12.5. Let's make it 13 inches. And the chest will be 41 inches. And that is the measurement we'll be using for this dan chicken. So the first thing I did was to fold it into two. I will now fold it again. I fold it again. So I will measure out the length of the dan chicken. The length of the dan chicken we say the length is that one inches. That one inches, this is that one inches. So I will add, I add about two inches. Remember the, the, the danchiki, this particular danchiki will be having band on the bottom side of the, the danchiki. So I'll be adding just two inches. If I add two inches to that one, it will give me that three inches. So I push my step forward and I mark that one and 33 inches so the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect the points those points which i marked to get a straight line so i'm, I'm connecting the points these two points i'm connecting to get a straight line so i will now cut it out so i'm done with this remember i said that they have the half or the half the half shoulder is 13 inches but before marking that 13 inches let me mark the 13 inches this 13 inches 13 inches so this 13 inches i will add about uh, 1.25 inches for the folding for the folding allowance so I will give my shoulder slope 3 inches, 3 inches for my shoulder slope, so I will draw, I connect the slope, I will open, I will tear this place open. The chest, I said the chest is 41 inches, but before then, let me separate the two, the two sides of the danchiki, the front side and the back side. 
Then we just separate it. So the next thing we do is that I will take one of the, the I will take the front side and place it on top of the back. This is how it's going to be. So I will now push the front side downward. I will push it downward, so giving a space of about two and a half inches upward. I have two and a half inches upward. So I have two and a half inches on this area. So what I will do next is to cut here out. So you can see that on the bottom side here on alignment. So I will fold here. The overlapping will be about half inches. It should not be more than half inches. Well, before then, let me mark the neck. I'm making it 2.5 inches. And then on this side, I will also make it 2.5 inches. 2.5 inches on both sides. You give a curve. So the overlapping on the shoulder area should be about half inches. Remember that our shoulder is 13 inches, so when we add something, we added about 1.5 inches or 1.25 inches. So this is what it's going to give me. I will now cut here. The arm whole side or the arm sleeve points. I'm going to make it 16.5 inches. So I have 41 inches. I add 1.5 inches. On this area, on the bottom area, I will make it. Uh, Soon, I also add 1.5 inches. So we cut it. Yeah, we not be slit on this danchiki. Rather, the the band we go around the danchiki, the bottom of the danchiki. So uh, let me confirm something. We said that the length of this danchiki is uh, that one inches. That one inches. So I have that one inches here. So I we. If I apply my band, I will remove half inches for the band. So when I add the band to it, it will make up to the 31 inches. So this is all about the cutting of the danchiki. So I'm going to move direct to the sewing of the danchiki for you to see how to sew this danchiki. This is the latest form of danchiki. So I will move to the sewing immediately. Let's move right now to the sewing. 
Hey guys, welcome back again. We are now on the sewing section. We are now on the uh, sewing section. So during the cutting, there are some things which I did not cut during the cutting uh, uh, section. And the, the, uh, the back piece, or you call it the back facing, is the back, back piece of the Danchiki we are. So and the, this is the this is the front of our dan chicken this is the front this is the front of the dan chicken and this is the this is the back this is the back of the dan chicken or the king mono we are so um and this this i cut out this, this this will be for the band the band at the bottom at the bottom of the the dan chicken it will be the band at the bottom of the dan chicken and then uh, this will be the pocket it will have a pocket but the pocket we actually the placket of this dan chicken will actually cover the pocket it will run down to close the pocket so this pocket this is how it's going to be i will just fold this on the upper side with my iron and use hemming gum to hold it at the upper side and the the back facing the back facing i will also fold the back facing i will also fold the back facing with my iron and also apply hemming gum at the under of it so uh, then i will now come back to continue with the sewing and at the same time i will get the center the center of this uh, front of our danchiki or kimono we are i will get the center I get the center we use my iron to get the center of the of the of the front of the kimono rear so i uh, will move straight to the ironing table to do that and we continue when i return back so i'm back from the ironing so you can see this is the back piece or the back facing just fold it and apply uh, my hemming gum right uh, underneath so this is the and this is the back of the kimono rear in the back and uh, this is the pocket this is the pocket which i have already prepared it i said on this area we apply hem gum on it which will be the upper area i just folded the bottom of the pocket so uh the, what i will do first is to join to attach the pocket on the kimono we are before i will fix the placket i will attach the pocket on the kimono we are before fixing the placket so mm. I'll make it 10 inches your stitch run at the tip at the bottom area that's the place that we run first run your stitch at the tip at the tip of the pocket attaching the pocket now so what i will do is that i will create a button hole here and fix a button on this area so what i'm going to do now is to attach the placket so and this is the this is the stiff which i have already cut out for the placket the stiff i've already cut it out for the placket and the placket will be a little bit longer because the placket has to come down or uh, a little below the the base of the pocket it has to come down a little bit below the base of the pocket so uh, i will take the placket to the to the to the to my table to gum it on the fabric 
So after preparing it, I will come back to, to continue showing the placket. But before I do that, let me call this. Before I do that, I will I will run stitch at the back, attaching the back piece or the back facing to the back. So let me keep this by the side and bring the back piece or the back facing of the dan chicken or the kimono wear. So this is the back of our kimono wear. This is the back. This is the back of the kimono wear or the dan chicken wear. So I will place the back piece right this way. Actually, this kimono or dan chicken wear will have a piped neck. So I will press it. So I will press it. So I will apply my office pin on it to hold it so that it will not move out from alignment. So the next thing I will do is that I will narrow stitch at the base, at the tip. Make sure that your stitch, if you are, if you are following me on the stitch. Double stitch at the back piece. So I'm done running the stitch at the back piece. So the next thing I will do is to go and prepare the blackheads and come back to fix it. So these are the blackheads. So you can see it. This is the way I prepare the blackheads. This blackhead should be about 1.5 inches wide and the length should be about 17.5 inches. So remember I told you that the blackhead needs to be long so that it will pass the base of the pocket. Because that's what is going to be covering the, the front pocket and this is the opposite side of the placket. So I will bring the front side. This is the front side of the Dan Chicken here. This is the front side. So I will give a cut at the left hand side of the of the, the, the Dan Chicken here. The left hand side. This is the center. Remember I said that I will use iron to get the center. This is the line of the center. So I will give a cut by the side of it. Give a cut by the side, then I will also give a kind of white cut here. White cut, so I will now start joining the blackhead. The first one I will join is the one that will be on my left hand side. That's the first one I will join. I want you to watch very carefully as I join this. I will place it this way, I will measure it from the upside to the bottom. It of the of here I give my white cut so I will give a cut here I give a cut I want you to I want to show you something before I continue with the stitch why folding your the opposite side this is the way I folded the opposite side fold this way and fold this way so why folding the on this area you have to make the under one to be bigger than the outer one you can see that there is a little space in between the upper one and the down one so that while running your stitch as you are running your stitch the stitch will we hold the the bottom of the bottom of the placket so I will put it to run the stitch right now
Bagus, bagus. So the next one how we do is to hit that of my right hand side. So this is it. center which you created the center of the front of the kimono here you have to align it to fall at the center These are back piece or the back facing, exclu excluding the back, back piece. So I will join the front and the back first, excluding the back piece or back facing. I will do the same on the opposite side, excluding the back piece or the back facing so so I've just joined the front and the back so I will now 
introduce the back facing. Now I want you to watch how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to do it. This is the back facing now. Just watch what I will do. I will turn it this way. So why so you I make sure that I saw the same measurement about half inches inside just as I did while joining the front and the back. What I'm attaching now is the back facing. joining this I will turn it back so you can see how it is so I will also do the same on this side why I'm showing both of them at the same time in case if you did not grab the first one you will now understand how I did it by doing it the second time finish ironing it. You can see the shoulder, how smooth it is. This is the placket. You can also see the placket. This is the pocket. So, and this is what I have prepared for the piping, piping of the neck. So, uh, actually, if you want to know more about piping of neck or uh, of signature neckline, so I will drop the link on the description below on how to pipe your signature neckline. So, I will fold this this way and I will now start to run my stitch.
down thread has initial the under thread. So I have to change the under thread to continue with the stitch. what I will use for the band so I take it to the iron to arrange it very well before I will not apply it on it so this is the bottom side of uh, Danchiki area you can see the top and here is the bottom area so what I will do is that I will now this is what I'll be using to the band I'll be using for this bottom area the band is about 2.5 inches wideness I will remove half inches leaving us with uh, two inches wideness
I'll be attaching, I'm done with the band, you can see it. So the what is left now is just to join the side of the danchike. So this is what is left to join the side of the danchike. But I'll be attaching a design at this band area because it will be having two buttons. So I will be making use of this fabric to do it. So using it to do it. So what I will do is just to fold this. I fold it into a run a stitch about half inches. We take it to the table to compress it. So after compressing it, pardon, let me cut it first. So it's going to be on the two sides. I will join this into two first. I cut it out. So the next thing is that I will use my hand to compress before taking it to the table for, for compressing. And I will run stitch on a straight line. do the same on this area I will take it to the table and compress it after then I will not turn it I turn both of them and come back to attach it on this band so this is what I'm going to be attaching at that band area you can see it i've just finished preparing it and it will be on the front side of the danchike here's the front side of the danchike here's the placket here's the placket so i'll be attaching it on this area What we do next is to join to join the side or to close the side of the danchike. Remember that uh, the chest measurement is 41 inches, so we'll be making use of 41 to close it. So 41 divided by so we give us 20.5 20 20.5 so I just marked 20.5 now just to close it that's what is left Start by joining it, but before then, let me measure the one sleeve. I'm making it 15 inches. It's 15 inches.
done with these clothes. Let me turn the front for you to see. So what is left now is just to pick the buttons and uh, to iron this cloth. That's what is left for it. So one button will be here. one with the other pockets and another one two will be here one here and one will be here same thing on this side two here so this is all about this design please don't forget to give me a like on this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel look below this video here subscribe button hit on that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to also as to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching and god bless you